Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Today is Thursday, sorry, it's not Thursday, it's Friday, the 25th of October 2024. And um, I just thought I'd put together a quick video just to let you know a few little bits and pieces that have been going on and to say a massive thank you. Uh, thank you to all of you that watch and subscribe and donate to the channel and everything. It's absolutely wonderful. It's really, really good of you and uh, I am so, so grateful about it. Or grateful for it should i say and all your lovely comments as well they're all good and even the not so lovely ones they're great as well um so yeah start off by saying a massive thank you to all of you who have watched the galeri um videos i've done two videos on the galeri airbrushes this is the 98 we've got the 68 over there i've actually been using this um on a couple of little jobs and it's proving to be very, very good indeed. Somebody did comment about the um, these sort of Asian cheaper end airbrushes and that they're all the same. I can assure you they're not. I've got another couple here. I've got that sort of one that I got off Amazon for about £11. Back there. I did a review on it. And yes, initially it was it was OK. But, you know, I just use it for metallics now um, because basically you... You thin them to within an inch of their life and then just sort of spray them on. So that's what I use because using metallics in your everyday airbrush, if you get a bit of metallic pigment left in there or something, you can guarantee it'll only come out on a tyre. You know, it won't come out when you're spraying the inside of an aircraft that you're going to weather and chip anyway. Oh, no, it won't do there. It'll come out when you do a tyre. They get end up with a metallic black tyre, you know, something like that. So it's, it's a pain. So it's best to sort of try and have one airbrush for metallics if you can. Some people like to have one for metallics, one for clear, and then one for everything else. But uh, with the price of airbrushes now, you know, we've got that luxury. I can remember only, I mentioned this in one of the videos, only 20, 20, maybe 30 years ago, 25 years ago, say, you know, a sort of lower end of Badger was like 90 odd quid, you know, and that was a, a suction cup thing you know and they weren't they weren't the best um but what we're getting now for sort of 40 50 60 pound is just unbelievable yeah you can go and spend hundreds on your iwatas and your hard and steam backs and all that and they're absolutely brilliant i know they are believe me my my little iwata's been going for years i love it to bits but you know it's not worth double the cost of one of those galeries i can assure you but i wanted to say thank you because um if you remember i put a little link down below in the videos and you've used that link to go and look at their website. And I can see that literally hundreds of you have gone and looked at the website. And a lot of you have actually purchased using my discount code NMB, which gets you 10% off your purchase. So um, congratulations there for listening to what I was saying and using the uh, the code. So that's worked out really well for everybody. Um, I do have an affiliation with them with that with that code. So they get to know basically um you know how much traffic i'm sending them and in return for that they give me a tiny little um percentage of your purchase so uh, it's the same as all these people with these affiliates with amazon with their amazon shops and all that um it's the same little thing so it's it's great it's putting a bit of money in my pocket which i can go and use to buy stuff for the channel which is wonderful so thank you very much for that and you're, you're getting your 10 percent off as well so everyone's a winner the only people that are losing is galeri really um they've now been in touch with me because you guys have been so um so forthcoming with your views and and purchases and stuff They're, they've now sent me the mobus point two which apparently is a very nice airbrush indeed so i'm looking forward to getting that one and they heard what I said in the first video. And when they've got more stock in the country, because apparently there's currently limited stock in the UK, that beautiful waterfall um, extractor, the, the spray booth, uh, which I shall put alongside my, my Bart Sharp one and have those two together. So, um, yeah, they're going to send one of those as well for review. So that's going to be really good. I think a lot of you will go for that because undoubtedly, I think I mentioned it in the video again, that the... Um, the old waterfall is what they used to have years ago in spray booths. And basically the waterfall sort of forms a, a, a venturi effect. It pulls air towards it as the water is falling down. So the paint is attracted to that. You've also got the fan at the back, which is pulling. So I think really the, the particles of paint will end up in the water and the, the vapour and the fumes, I think, will end up in the, um, in the filter at the back. It's also got a triple fan. So... You know, it's going to be really, really good. It's got lightings in it as well. And what I do notice is quite tall as well, which is nice because I do sometimes find 
um, with the bark sharp one, I'd like to have it on higher desk. Maybe I should just put some blocks under it or something just to get it a bit higher up because it is sort of a bit low down. But uh, I could lift it up. But this this new one, it's, it's tall, so that'd be good. It also means the neighbours can't look through the window and see what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, so that's great. Um, Rob over at Brooks Models has sent me a little package through yesterday, which was uh, very gratefully received. He listens to what I say when I suggest that, you know, what, what you should get in stock. And as you all know, I am an absolute massive fan. I'm the world's biggest fan of Infini sanding sticks. The only thing is um, the ones I use the most when you get the when you get the set of Matador sticks, it's like 400 up to something like 7000. I only ever used really the 400, 600 and 1000. Um, the other ones, they're great for polishing stuff, but you very rarely use them. The one I use the most out of all the Infini sanding sticks is the Matador 400, which now Rob has started doing. And you can just buy a pack of four of the Matador 400s. So you can go over on his, his site and have a look at those. Um, and those, for those four sanding sticks, they're 3 99 So you've got two sides on each one and there, there's four in there. So basically it's 50 pence a side, which is absolutely brilliant. And they really, really last. And they're sort of hard. Um, they're called soft sanding sticks, but they're, they're sort of they're sort of hard. They're brilliant for general modelling. Um, you know, I would recommend those if you only ever buy one Infini sanding stick in your life. That's the one I would recommend, the Infini Matador. They call them the premium ultra precision soft sanding stick. I call them Matadors because I've always called them Matadors, which is wrong. Um, they're manufactured using excellent quality waterproof sheets by Matador of Germany. So I've always called them Matadors, but they're actually the premium ultra precision soft sanding stick IPM 0400 for each. So there you go. There's that one. And he's also got in stock the 600, which is the other one I use. Absolutely brilliant. So again, same thing. IPM 0600. And they're also 399. And don't forget, if you spend more than 15 pounds, you can use the code NMB10 and get 10% off your order. Or you can use the code NMB20 and get 20% off if you spend £50 or more. So that's great. So there, I'm glad he's got those in. He sent me those. He sent me those free of charge. So I'll have to put a pay promotion thing up in this video. And I'm very, a very I'm a very, very lucky boy. The other sticks that I'd recommend to anyone, if you only ever buy two sticks, get the 400 and get the 400 zebra sticks now there's only two in here okay so i've got the 400 and i've also got the 220 now the 220 is great for when you've got to take a lot of material off um or you know like if you've um say you've got a i don't know a fuselage half that's really rough and it's got lots of undulations and flash all over it like from some companies that we could talk about you know that would be a great first stick to go in with and then finish off with the 400 now those um he's got the 220 and the 400 in and they are 299 so again you've only got two sticks in there so they're three pounds for two sticks so that's three pounds um that's one pound fifty each which makes it 75 pence per side because they're double sided but these are quite hard so they're very, very good if you want a nice hard edge on your, you know, you're sanding your fuselage halves. You, you see me all the time when I like to sand my wings and feather the edges and stuff. Those two are great for that. Really, really good. So um, there's a really good series of videos coming for you if you like all that sort of stuff about sanding and basic modelling skills to turn a, a sort of short run kit into something which is like Tamiya. It goes together like Tamiya. The other thing Rob's got in, um, which is something I've had before and used, are these infini um rigging materials so we've got here we've got i've shown you these before and i'm actually going to send these back to rob because i've already got them but we've got the um we've got the fine we've got the medium the fine and the super fine and these are basically infini rigging lines for your model aircraft so you've got the medium which is 0.135 millimeters okay so there's that one there and they're suggesting that is for uh 130 second scale you can see on there 130 second scale and then we've got the fine which is suggested for 148 which is 0 0.082 millimeters so um 0 0.08 so that's like three thou yeah um and then we've got sorry the, the other one is 0 0.135 so that's like 
uh, five and a half thou, something like that. And that's about three thou. And then you've got here the 0.055, which is about two thou. And that's for one seventy second. Now, you will know if you watched my Fockery 4 build, I used this one, which looked great until I painted it. So if you want to paint your rig in, I would seriously recommend the model cast and stuff, which I know Rob is looking into getting. The model cast and rigging is far better than that in one respect because it's round in section. It's not flat. These are all like they're like a flat ribbon. You might you get your elastic in your underpants or whatever. That's what they're like on a microscopic scale. So when you paint them, obviously, you're going to have twist in them or whatever. You can see that twist in them. Go back and have a look at my um, Fockery 4 build and you'll see exactly what I mean. The model cast and stuff is far superior because it's round in section. If you're not going to paint your rig and if you're just going to leave it black, it looks absolutely fine. OK, the big bonus of this stuff is it's extremely elastic. It will stretch seven times its length. The beauty of that is if you're doing, say, just like on your simple Spitfire. So you've got a Spitfire and you've got your antenna here and you've got a line going back to the antenna. What you do is just put a drop of super glue on the antenna, put that on there. Let it sit for a minute, let it dry and then pull it back. And you, what you do is you just pull it back. So it's just taut. Drop a cement on there, a CA on there. Job done. And then if you do knock it, you can actually, you know, push it right down to the fuselage. It doesn't matter because it will stretch seven times its length. Don't be tempted to stretch it too far and then glue it because what happened over time, it will break your antenna off. Ask me how I know. Um, so there you go. Um, so that's those. The one I haven't got is this one here, which she sent. And this is for ships. You can see on there we've got a ship rigging. Uh, and this is the medium and it's 0 0.121. It's called 110 deniers, 0.121 millimetres. It's 45 metres long. So that's the one I haven't got. So I'm keeping that one, Rob. You're not having that one back. Oh, no. And those are on the site. They are £13.49 each. So if you got one of these and one of these, that would come to £15, £16, 48 pence. And you would then get 10% off, which would make it, whatever <laughs> um 16 pounds 48 pence minus one pound 64 is gonna be sort of 14 pounds 80 or something so you can see it's worth it's worth um it's worth having that at 10 percent off and if you make a big one right you get 20 percent off which means those you know, those sticks rather than costing you 2.99 um they will cost you two pounds 40 two pounds 39 yeah so you know, worth, well worth doing if you're going to go for the discount. And also don't forget he sells kits as well. So you, if you want to get one of the bigger kits, you're going to get 20% off, which is brilliant. So that's all really good. Um, Pocker, the Porsche, working on that one. Um, here's the front cover. You're going to get one tonight. As I say, today is Friday. So you're going to get a video tonight, I think. And you're going to get the, another video tomorrow night. I don't think there's going to be a fresh build video this week. I think they're both going to be revisited builds because see, I've done a lot of work on the engine. Um, that would have just been in the kit. That would have just been a black plastic panel. You can see we've got lots of work done on there. So you'll see that we've also done some hoses and stuff like that. Some braided hoses. And stuff. So it's all looking really good. The engine's over there. I don't know if you can see it. The engine is there at the feet of the puppy, as you can see there. So, uh, yeah, all coming on, all looking really, really good. Loving that. Um, I hope you're enjoying the, I know most of you are, but one or two people aren't. But, you know, the, the, the sort of revisited where I go and paint stuff and that and make it all look a bit more realistic. It's not like I'm totally scratch building, I'm just painting stuff. So there we go. Um, I've also got a new kit this week because after I need a new kit, because I haven't got many. Um, so... I've been speaking to Verifier, the Chinese kit manufacturer who specialise in 1350 scale ships and update sets. And they have sent me, completely free of charge again, so again I'll have to have that pay promotion thing up, it's up there isn't it? The Verifier 1350th Yamato. It's not Yamato, it's not Yamoto, it's not Yamato, <laughs> it's Yamato, Yamato, okay? Um, Yamato and it's 1350th and they've sent me their advanced kit now we've all seen these kits where you get the standard kit and you get the, the super duper everything extras kit 
what they've done, they've done something in the middle. So that's going to be really good for you to see. So you want to make sure you tune in and watch that. I've got a price from Rob over at, um, over at, um, what are they called? Oh, blimey, Tiger Hobbies. I was thinking Hobbies, I couldn't think Tiger. Over at Tiger Hobbies, and he's told me a price. And looking at what comes in the kit, I think the price is, I think um, Gary's actually made a mistake. Did I just say Rob? Gary over at Tiger Hobbies. He's, I think he's made a mistake on the price um, because there's so much in there. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But that kit will be up available for pre-order from Tiger Hobbies very, very shortly. OK, um, so keep your eyes open for that one. So when I started looking around, I found this. Now, this kit here is the Imperial Japanese Navy Taiho. OK, and it's a beautiful, beautiful looking aircraft carrier. It looks nothing like any other Japanese aircraft, aircraft car I've ever seen. You know, normally they're converted from something else, a cruiser or whatever, and they've got all these rods and bloody supports and stuff, and they're really tall and everything. When you look at this, you you know, if I if I took the Japanese name off of that, you'd think that was British or American or something. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hence, I've always thought it's a what if. I have always thought Taiho was a what if kit. So I've never even bothered looking at it. Then I discovered when I saw it, because Sen Navy, if I think about it, I'll put a link in the description below. I love his work. Sen Navy is a brilliant ship modeler. Absolutely awesome. He's done a review of this kit. And then when I started looking about it, I thought, blimey, it's really famous. It was taken out, you know, within months of going into service. And it was taken out by one torpedo from um, USS Albacore, a, a, a US a Gato class submarine. So absolutely incredible story. Go and look it up. So when I saw his review, I thought, I've got to have a look at this. So I ordered the kit and I bought this. And I got this from Leeds Model Shop and because uh, everyone else was out of stock. And um, this is just the standard kit. And then I found out there's a deluxe version. So I started looking at all the extras and stuff. So I've now bought all the extras for it as well. So um, looking forward to those turning up. If you'd like to see a review of this, then let me know. Um, I'm probably going to do a review of it anyway. But if you don't want to see a review of it, let me know. And then if millions of you say you don't want to see it, I won't bother. This has got some of the crispest, cleanest moulding I've ever seen on any kit ever. Um, this is an eye opener. It really is a beautiful model kit. And I was thinking if I want to have a go at it, I'll probably never bloody finish it because you know me. But I thought if I want to have a go at this, this would be a great practice run before I do a Kagi. Because as you know, I've got the Hasegawa Kagi and I've got all of the photo etch aftermarket barrels everything for that model um and it would be a real shame to mess it up because a lot of it is very hard to come by now the aftermarket but i thought if i mess this up i can always go and buy another set so that's what i think i might do so you'll i think you'll enjoy that but if you don't want to if you're not interested then i won't video build it i'll just build it in my own time but um very very interesting so there's three aftermarket sets to go with that they're all made by very fire you've got a b and c uh a is basic everything okay um all the the sort of structure all the photo etch all the railings and everything like that and then b is basically the deck a wooden deck there was a lot of controversy over whether I have a linoleum deck or, easy for you to say, or a wooden deck. Um, everybody says it had a, lino a linoleum deck. I can't get any words out. But apparently um, some footage that was just been recently discovered in the last few years has proved that it actually did have a wooden deck. So that kit is made with a wooden deck, which is another reason why I bought it. And if you want to know about that, you can wait and see the review. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, yeah, really, really interesting. So as I say, Yamato is on its way. Um, and as soon as that turns up, that will be reviewed. And I think a lot of you will be very, very interested. It's funny, isn't it? It's, it was the same a few years back, a few years ago with Panther tanks. It was like every man and his dog, every kit manufacturer in the world was giving us Panther tanks. It seems at the moment it's Yamato. Everyone's given us a Yamato. So um, really, really good. And from looking at it, I believe, and I'm open to have my mind changed here i believe the very fire yamato is probably the most accurate ever produced injection molded kit of yamato so um mm, we shall see it certainly looks a lot nicer than the border model as far as accuracy goes 
Um, I've also heard rumours there's some issues with the border models with warped parts. I don't know. I'm not going to run them down because I love border model. I love their plastic and everything. But um, first look I saw at the kit, I thought, yeah, it's just, it's just another Tamiya. Uh, so there we go. And finally, um, I had a knock at the door today from the postman and this arrived. So uh, I know some of you will be absolutely chuffed out of your head to see that this has arrived. And some of you will be like, oh, not that again. So we have had part 39 of the Hatchet Lancaster Dambuster Bomber turn up. And in here is a uh, control board and we're going to be doing some motor testing or something. I hope there's a something in there to make the propeller stay on because at the moment it just falls off. You just hold the motor at about 10 degrees from horizontal and the propeller falls off. So there we go. So in part 40, which is here, we have a new propeller, three propeller blades, black back plate, front plate, dome shaft rings, cogs, assembly blocks and screws. So they give us assembly blocks, even though I kept them from step one. So we got in part 40, sorry, yeah, part 40, we've got a um, another propeller. And then in part 41, or pack 41, guess what that is? That's a wing. Yeah, we've got a wing. So that's pretty cool. So it'll be interesting to see if we've got dihedral on there. I think we probably have. At least I hope we have, because they said we would. And then in pack 42, we have wing frame support, spars, cable with lights, cable covers and screws. And that's all in that little box there. And then in pack 43, we have the starboard inboard trailing edge flap, underside hinges, hinge covers, hinge grips and screws. So it looks like the um, the flaps are going to move. I bet they painted the inside of them green, eh? Let's wait and see. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's great news. So we're going to start a wing and then we're going to be mounting the engines on the wing and everything. The downside to that is following along from this, I think we're going to be looking at another two engines and then another two lots of the cells and then another wing. And it's it's all going to start repeating itself. But um, that's the whole thing about model aircraft, isn't it? It's the same with injection molded kits or whatever. So there we go. So that was what I wanted to get out. Don't forget, brooksmodels.com. Get on over there, have a look around. There's lots and lots of stuff. And his prices are very reasonable. I was just talking to someone earlier today. Um, he does a 400 milliliter bottle of, of um, Mr. Cut 11 in thinners. And it's like 10.95, which is very cheap. It's real, real cheap. And also it can be quite hard to get come by. So when it's in, get it in. All right. Uh, same with the me, uh, the Mr. Surfacer, Black Mr. Surfacer. Get that because that sort of runs out and everything. Um, anything Mr. Hobby, consumables wise, paints wise, and all that. You know, all the all the primers and everything. Just get yourself double what you would normally get and make sure you've got something to back up. Because basically, if you're used to using leveling thinners and then you run out, there really is. You know, there's there's the you've got the Tamiya ones and everything, but. Um, Leveling thinners is, is something else, isn't it? We all know that. There we go. So um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Any feedback, comments, leave them down below. And if you disagree about the um, the Yamato kit, because I know there's a lot of experts out there, and I don't say that facetiously. I really mean it. There are some Yamato experts out there. Like I say, I will be corrected. So and for those of you that want to ask, what about Scharnhorst? I have been working on it. Okay. So um, maybe that's why I got my cold. Maybe it's reading all that bloody filler dust. But I have been working on it and you will like it when you see it. I still haven't got a deck glued to the hole yet, but I have been working on it. It still hasn't got any paint on it, but I have been working on it. And uh, I think you'll like it. So anyway, um, if you want to see a review of that Taiho, let me know. I'll do bit by bit, sprue by sprue. Lots and lots of work in there. I think it's 1,000... I counted up the parts. I think it's over, it's about 1,000, nearly 1,200 parts. Yes, and it doesn't even have a full complement of planes. You get set C. Well, I started telling you that earlier, didn't I? Set A is the, basically the ship. Set B is the deck. Set C is the aircraft. You get loads more aircraft to put on this. You get a full complement of aircraft. And there's also, they're either moulded or 3D printed, whatever, interiors for the aircraft. Yes. Um, and they've got uh, photo etch props and they've got photo etch frames and everything, canopy frames. I've always wanted to do one of those. And I'm wondering if you could use crystal clear and make it make little um, 
make you know the glazing for the canopies. I wonder if that would work. It would probably your seat maybe hold them upside down. I don't know. I've waffled enough. I will see you all very soon. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. So um, yeah, hopefully tonight you'll see the uh, part two revisited B of the Pocker Porsche. And then I think tomorrow night is going to be part three revisit. I may get some work done on it later on tonight or tomorrow. So you'll get like a part four. We shall see. But there's a lot of work to do on that engine yet. I'll see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Wait there. Don't go anywhere. OK. There's some I should have told you, which was really important. I forgot to tell you. So stay there for a sec. Right. Brooks Models. Brooksmodels.com. Rob, he's going to be at Telford. OK, a couple of weeks, he's going to be at Telford and he is going to have massive stocks of stuff on the stand for you to buy. The good news is the NMB 10 and the NMB 20 codes will work. So it's the same at the show. You spend £15, use NMB 10, you'll get 10% off up to £50. Over £50, you get 20% off. So uh, don't forget, look out for the Rob stand. Look out for Rob stand. And if you're going on the Saturday, I would make a beeline because... As we all know, there's only so much stock they can carry. And you know that he's got stuff like all his leveling dinners and Mr. Servicer and all that. It's going to go like that. I can assure you it won't be around for long. So uh, get over there and spend your money and save some money. Yeah. Bye for now.